Hello everyone. I'm Lawrence, well... I'm actually post-recording Lawrence. And I came back to present you some things that I missed that Vati pointed out. Well, it isn't that he pointed them out to me, but it is that he... He told them in his latest video. Right here, where I cleared those enemies, well, it only spawns for the first time, I believe. But there should have been uh, an enemy that uh, is carrying a very big pot. Apparently, those are enemies that can drop scattered tree fragments. Oh, <laughs> right here, the backhand blades. I'm sure you you know what these are, especially by now. I mean, you've played this game for quite some time now. Right. There are some things hidden here that at least I didn't get to discover yet. Uh, well, I didn't get to discover at least until Vati pointed them out. You know, there actually is an Ash of War hidden here. And not just any Ash of War. This is the Savage Lion's Claw, and what it does is very similar, as you can see here, but it has a follow-up. First things first. <laughs> you see now how crazy powerful this Ash of War is, as I promised that I will show you. I missed one thing, and that thing is this chest, with the Fire Spark Perfume Bottle. Yes, this is a new weapon from the DLC that I have missed, and you probably have missed as well. And would you know it? No FP consumption for all of this fire damage. I didn't bother actually to see what is up here. And you've guessed it. <laughs> it's a cage. Not a cage, but a cave. The cages are just in front of the cave. 